In this demo, we're going to look at some ways of creating quantitative maps. So let's just start with a very typical scenario. We've got some uh, data here for the City of Toronto wards. And if I open the attribute table for this, you'll see that for each ward, we have the name of the ward, the name of the councillor for that ward, the ward number, and the population um, from the 2011 census. So first off, you'll notice that uh, what we don't have are the areas for um, for these wards. So that's something we can calculate in order to be able to use that to normalize our data. So to do that, we can add a field here and we can name that field. We'll just call it area. Uh, I'm going to do it in kilometers. So I suppose I could use long integers here and say OK. And so now I have a new field. So that's one thing is how to create a new field. Now, if I want to calculate the areas of each of these wards, I can right click, select Calculate Geometry, and it's already selected area as the property. And notice that I have stored this data in a UTM coordinate system, which will give me accurate area measurements. So you have to check for that under coordinate system. And then under units, I'm going to select square kilometers. When I click OK, it automatically calculates those areas in square kilometers. So you can see here that it's rounded it up because I didn't use decimal places. I could have used, a, say, a double field type if I'd wanted to use um, decimal places. So let's just say we're going to use this. We now have areas and populations for our wards. We can close the attribute table, right-click on our properties, go to Symbology, select Quantities, Graduated Colors. And I'm just going to use this color ramp here. and. I can select as my value 2011, but remember if I do that I'm using counts and what I wanted to show is areas. So I can do that by selecting area and that will normalize the data. Next I need to be able to classify the data. I click the classify button and here you see that there are different options for selecting classification methods such as quantile. I could select as many classes as I want. Um, I can move these around if I want to adjust them manually. I can type in numbers over here if I want to do it that way. Um, or if I want to go back to the method I was just looking at, let's use four quantiles. Um, you can adjust the number of columns that are being shown. This is strictly just for visualization purposes within this um, dialog box. So I've got four quantiles. I guess we could also call those quartiles. Let's click OK. I've got my choropleth color scheme there, and uh, voila, I've got a four quartile choropleth map based on population density for my city wards. Now, I could also go in and adjust that, and instead of using that, I could say do a dot density map and use a dot value of, let's try 2000 for my. Uh, and I can double click on this and select a different color. And so now I have a dot size of 2, a dot value of 2000. And you'll see that I'm getting some coalescence. I can try that out and see what kind of um, map I get. That's not too bad. I can adjust that if I want. One trick is you can get rid of the background altogether so that the outlines of the words disappear. And I could decrease this to, let's say, 1000. And so we get something else there. So you'd have to play with that in order to look at the dot size and value to get a good level of coalescence. But that's how you'd make a, a dot map. Um, lastly, is if we wanted to calculate our uh, density instead of having the dialog box do it for us, we could go into here, add another field, call this density. And I know that I'm going to need decimal places for this because my density values are going to be fairly small. And now I can right click, select the field calculator. And in this case, I'm going to say population 2000 divided by area. Say OK. And there's my population density that's been calculated. And I could now go back and let's say I wanted to do a choropleth map. Go back to my graduated colors. Now I can just use the densities. I don't have to normalize because that's already been built into my values. And I could always change the formatting of this if I only want to show, say, 
two decimal places, maybe show thousand separators. And so that gives me um, a choropleth map again with a calculated density as opposed to using the symbology to calculate it for me. So that's it for some basics on choropleths, data classification, and working with fields. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you find it helpful.